Hello everyone, you got Casey Rose Captain here. And uh this is from this moment, it is eleven thirty nine, almost eleven forty AM on January eighth, two thousand eleven. It is three hundred and seven days until the release of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh I've got my uh video studio and my capture card up and running again and uh it it's working fine now. And I got some Morrowind gameplay. It's kind of where I left off from the Morrowind series uh, during the third trial of Yerushalaku. And right now I'm looking for three items. I'm looking for Corpus Weepings, a House Dagoth Cup, and uh, uh, the Shadow Shield. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, more about the Elder Scrolls series itself. Kind of going more into the can't wait till the Skyrim thing. I I just I just keep watching the announcement trailer over and over, and I just cannot wait until the big 11, 11, 11 opening. And I would love to go to the midnight the midnight release. After all, I actually kind of deserve and want to go because it will be the biggest game of 2011 and probably 2012. No Call of Duty game can beat that. Or Halo, or what, Mass Effect, or Gears of War. Those bi there, there are new games like that coming out this year. Uh, I don't think Halo is <laughs> actually coming back. I, I just mentioned that. Uh, there's definitely going to be a new Call of Duty. There is going to be a new Mass Effect 3. Uh, I saw something on that. But, yeah, I, I saw, like, it getting a rating or something. I don't really know which. Um. Uh. Oh, excuse me, I'm just a little off track here. But. In my opinion. The Elder Scrolls series and basically any game Bethesda makes itself is better than Call of Duty and Halo and like all those m old online multiplayer games like, like Medal of Honor or Battlefield because those games just get old after a while especially Call of Duty and Halo because Halo basically what it is is two people with assault rifles or DMRs or whatever they just go up and they just look at each other and then they run at each other, shooting at each other, and basically whoever gets there and melees first wins. That's almost the every single case scenario. But that's kind of why I like to play, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Kind of like the hardcore mode of Halo. Riot or something? I don't know. But, uh, not really the same in Call of Duty. Call of Duty can kind of get old. Uh, I admit, I play it a lot, though, because, you know, I like to play with friends, too, and it, it's a fun game, but I've played the, the RPGs more often than not, than I've, I've played them more than Call of Duty could ever imagine, and it, it's just that these games are really big. Bethesda really makes their games kind of spread up throughout the years. Especially the Elder Scrolls series, because Elder this Morrowind came out like a uh, uh, 2001, and the next one didn't come out until five years later. Whereas, uh, again, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, Skyrim didn't, isn't coming out until like five years after that, which is this year, just so happens to be, and 307 days. And that's really, that, that really puts time into their games, and that makes them bigger, and gives them more ideas to put in, and it just makes, if they put so much detail into their games, and they want to put 
something everywhere. Either it's like a mystery or whether you actually know what it is. Because there is always something to do. If you run out of stuff to do, you're wrong. There's more. I haven't even done everything for Marwin and I've had the game for 10 years. It's just, it's, it's really extraordinary how much time they put into these games. And that's why I'm doing this countdown, because I cannot wait any longer. I just, it's just going to be a terrific game. Um, Call of Duty, stuff like that, uh, <laughs> excuse me for a second, uh, their games, they kind of, uh, like, get a new Call of Duty every year, and, yeah, yeah, everyone's excited for them, but it's just like, oh, there was just a Call of Duty last year, and it doesn't really give you time to, you know, like, get to that 10th prestige or something, even though it's possible, I, yeah, I could have done it, um, but for this, they give you five year gaps, so it gives you a chance to do everything because there's so much, and it gives them the time they need to put even more stuff into their next game. And I, it's just, <coughs> excuse me, it will be the best game of 2011-2012. That's what my opinion is on this game getting better. This game and Oblivion, they will get better eventually. Um, I will put oh, my next video. I'll put Oblivion stuff up because um, I, I think with one of my characters, I'm do, I'm on the last Thieves Guild mission, and I love that mission. So I'll put that one up on YouTube. If you don't really want to watch the entire thing, that's okay. You can kind of skip through the boring parts. Uh, I won't really talk about that much stuff important unless I know stuff. It'll probably be t tomorrow that I upload it, because uh, I already uploaded one today. Sort of. I know I uploaded the 307 days video already up on my, uh, like, at mid like, it was like exactly at midnight, but I kind of recorded the thing and made the video the day before, so it's kind of a 307 through 300, or I mean, excuse me, 308 through 307 day Total Skyrim video. So I'm going to label this one as uh, 306 days and however many hours, and like, it'll, and when that goes up, that will, uh, uh, it'll have like the right time on there. And people will probably disagree by the time they watch it, but, um, watch this, and just, if you're watching this, just understand that it's kind of hard to keep track of the time, because you have to count upload time, and recording time, and uh, audio recording time, stuff like that, because I'm not lying about the time right now. It is 306 days, 12 hours, and t uh, uh, 12 minutes. And at that time, I will be getting the game, because that will be the biggest game ever. And I just thought that doing this series would kind of prepare me and my... It, this this series is mostly for my subscribers, and um, if, if, if people who have not subscribed to me are watching this, then please subscribe, because I will, I will do a lot of stuff. And, on the day Skyrim comes out, I will go all out on the gameplay because you know what the best part about 11 11 11 is? The fact that 11 11 11 is a Friday. And that gives me the entire weekend to do whatever I want. And I will be playing Skyrim all weekend. And I can promise you that when the first video will go up on that Friday. Even though I have school on Friday, but that, that, that doesn't matter. I, I, I won't skip for it, but I will, right when I get home, I will get it, and, uh, I will play it, I will put that video up as early as I can, okay, so I can give you information on 
how the gameplay is and that kind of stuff and yeah so I still have about six minutes left to talk here so maybe we should uh, uh, talk about the gameplay I guess like I said before uh, kinda doing the main quest here finish the third trial and what the funny thing is after I completed this quest and I was putting this editing this video I had my controller on my lap and I was sitting right next to uh, Sol Matol but you know like the chieftain of the Urshalaku and I accidentally hit the right trigger with my weapon out so I accidentally hit him and so eventually I'll have to do this quest again but uh, maybe I'll do it right now while, uh, while I'm waiting for this video to upload um, yeah my next video will be Oblivion because I, I have to go get a new Oblivion disc I'll probably go do that today because I have some, I have some spare money after all, it was Christmas. And, but, yeah, that was just bad luck for me. So, now, right now, we're going back to the Urshalaku camp. And, uh, oh, maybe, maybe there's one more thing I want to talk about Skyrim. There, there, the landscape. This game is very diverse from Oblivion. Because, as you can see, this is more desert desert area this part is they have in, in Morrowind they have more diverse landforms as you move around the as you move around the island or land whatever you want to consider this like they have swamps in one area desert in the other while mountains right in the middle and they really make it ex like they really make the land abnormal and extraordinary and uh it's just I wonder what Skyrim is going to be like it makes you wonder what Skyrim is going to be like because in Morrowind during the Blood Moon expansion pack there are a lot of Nords up there and you tend to hear a lot of Skyrim rumors like it's really snowy and icy and all that um, I heard that it's not only going to be ice, and, uh, usually icy places are, like, mountainous and hilly, so that's what my opinion is. There, the areas that are icy and snowy will, uh, will have, okay, I don't even know, I don't even remember what I said. Let me repeat myself. Um. The places that have ice and have snow will be mountainous and hilly. Probably. That's my opinion. And there will probably be a, a few forestry areas because they want to maybe bring back a few landforms from Oblivion. Because that game was uh, even a bigger success than Morrowind. Because more people played Oblivion than Morrowind. I know this because some people who play Oblivion don't even know about Morrowind. That's kind of why I play put some Morrowind videos up on YouTube because a lot of people don't know about uh, Morrowind who play Oblivion I mean and for the people who do know about Morrowind and who play Oblivion I'm not talking about you and I respect that you know what it is but um yeah uh I wonder if the graphics are going to be different they probably will be because of the new engines and all that. It's going to be uh, still going to be for Xbox because well, it's still going to be for Xbox 360 because I don't know of anything new coming back. And um, oh no, if I get oh okay, you might hear my Skype call ring. You just might, but hold on. Um, if it starts ringing, I'll just I won't pick up. Okay, I'm kind of getting off topic here. Ha! Huh? Anyway. This countdown kind of makes it longer. Like, just thinking about it just makes my days longer. Like, 
it was like it seemed like it was 11:50, like 20 minutes ago, where it was only four minutes ago. Oof. Gosh, 11:50 really seemed like it wasn't that long, ago. or I mean, it seemed like it was a long time ago. But it's going to be a long time before it comes out, and I can't wait. And it's going to be at the start of my senior year too, so. I don't know what's going to happen. Sky kind of comes out at the wrong time for me, but that's fine. I'll, I'm still going to get it. But, yep, we're back here at Urshalaku Camp with Solmatol. I don't actually show me attacking him, but that's okay. Because, uh, yeah, I did the third trial, and now I have to go find the Cavern of the Incarnate. But that'll be for future reference. I will do that in, the, in the, uh, my next Morrowind video. Uh, for the countdown to Skyrim, this is Casey Wazelcopter saying goodbye with 306 days, 12 hours, and 5 minutes left from the end of this recording. And, um, that's it for now, guys, and I'll see you guys in another day. Hopefully.